that if you want to connect directly to PayPal. But because this is an example problem, I'm going to skip this and upload from a CSV file, which you might want to do in practice as well. If you want to go further back, then possibly you can pull in from a direct connection and then connect going forward. So I'm going to skip this bit and I'm going to then say the uh, account name, PayPal, US dollars, that's what I'm in. So I'm gonna save that and looks good. And so now in our banking information, we got the check-in, the credit card, and we've got PayPal, pay up pal. So if I go into PayPal, now I'm going to upload my transaction. So we have the same kind of format here as other bank feeds. We've got the reconcile tab, nothing's in it, nothing's in any of them. And we've got the uh, cash coding, nothing's in it. If you don't have cash coding, you can go into your user profile uh, and and add the cash coding if you want to use that bit and you don't really have to. I'm gonna stop saying bit. And then we've got the account transactions. Now, uh, if you wanted to upload or practice with the bank feeds, uh, you could hit the drop down here and say that I want to import a statement. So when you say statement, you the first thing that comes to my mind is usually like an actual PDF file, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about importing the transactions into the bank feeds instead of connecting to the bank. Once they're in zero, we will have them in what I call bank feed limbo in a holding position that have not yet been fully processed into the final, final financial statements. So we can upload with an OFX file, a QFX, a QIF, a QBO, a CSV. Now, if you go to the, your normal banking institutions, many banking institutions have like a format of these types of files, including oftentimes a QBO type of file, which is an easy one to upload. I, I do not believe at this point in time, PayPal does, however, if you wanted to manually upload. But they do, and most institutions have a CSV type of file. So you could use that uh, if you wanted to practice. Now, if you download the transactions from PayPal in a CSV file, then, then PayPal will give you a bunch of transactions that you don't need, a bunch of columns you don't need, and you'll have to delete the columns. So just be aware of that. Uh, but you can look at the template and see the columns that you do need by opening up their CSV template over here. And if you wanted to just practice inputting information into a template, then you could use you know a template like this. So it has date, amount, payee, description, uh, reference, and the check number. So here here's an example of that template with just some transactions in it. Now again, if you downloaded everything from PayPal, what you could do is just copy those columns and into your template. So you could copy the date, the amount, and then the description is really all you need, just like the normal bank transfers, the increases and decreases to, to the account is what you want. Uh, if you want to make up your own data, just make sure, remember that you're creating this in Excel, but this is only opened in Excel. When I save it, it's actually a CSV file. If you create this in Excel, you can convert it to a CSV file by going to the file dropdown, save as, and then you'll say browse and just note that down here the file type is a comma delimited as opposed to an excel worksheet and so that's what you can upload it's basically an excel file that's been stripped down to its uh core elements here right so it doesn't have all the fancy excel stuff that's going to mess up when you're just trying to import the data file so let's go ahead and import this i'm just going to close this out and we'll say Let's uh, select this. I have this on my desktop. There's a lot of stuff on my desktop. So uh, don't, I'm kind of ashamed of all the stuff on it, but I know where everything is. Uh, it's really organized actually. So this is gonna be, I think it's this one. <laughs> PayPal bank feed, that's the one. There it is. So PayPal bank feed CSV file. Let's open it up. This is just formatting the, the headers that were on the the excel sheet or the csv file and there's an example of it and that's the transaction date that's correct this is the amount that's the transaction amount that's correct so we're just lining up the headers payee payee column that's correct we didn't have anything in it description description column that's correct reference there was nothing in it but but i'll just put reference column here 
just so I have it check number we'll just say okay uh, check number we didn't have any check numbers and don't import the first line because they're column headings so we don't want to import the line that says date on it and amount and a description so that's cool this is the last transaction uh, that we had imported uh, so so uh, transaction oh this is a preview so let's go ahead and say next it's preview and so I'm gonna say okay and so here's all the stuff we're gonna be importing into the system so that looks good 15 transactions okay let's do it let's do it man import that stuff and so now we've got our PayPal has the information in it so this this now would be the same position that we would be in as if we just connected to the PayPal and used it basically like another checking account so so now instead of me waiting until I transfer the stuff out of PayPal into the checking account before recording it as revenue I can get the more details so so the, so now in my case I'm like like a gig worker right and these are the platforms that are paying me so I could say okay if this is teachable I can record that now breaking it out to more detail as as teachable income right this is you to me uh income this is uh skill success income and so on that I can now break out in more detail instead of waiting until I just make a deposit like of this 20,000 that would hit the bank account my checking account as just one lump sum of 20,000 so the two methods I could use the easiest method would f would be for me to say hey look I'm just going to wait till I transfer whatever is in my PayPal account the 20,000 here into the checking account and when I do I'm just going to record that amount as revenue and instead of breaking it out by platform I'm just going to call it gig work revenue or whatever right but I don't get that detail by connecting the PayPal then I have a little bit more detail because now I can break my revenue accounts out by what I actually collected when I collected it uh, and and then give give me a little bit more detail so you could see either method might work depending on your circumstances so next time we'll just add some of these as we add them it'll be basically the same concept as having two checking accounts right well now we're going to add this to a, like a checking account and then we'll have those inter account transfers that we should see in a similar fashion as we saw with the with the credit card and checking account when we paid off the credit card which will have a transaction which each side of the transaction will have a bank uh, a bank feed connection that we'll have to deal with so we'll 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 do those those will be the, the transfers that we'll have so we'll take a look at those in future presentations